Hi everyone, I have opened here a visualization I made in Observable showing the ridership levels of the buses and subways in New York City broken out by day of week. I made this visualization using our chart cell, which is a no code option for building visualizations in Observable. And it's pretty powerful in what it can do. So I thought I would show you how you can rebuild this chart in just one minute in Observable. So I've got the data down here. It shows uh, the different methods of transportation, the dates, the total ridership, and a day of week column to show what day of week it was. And we can build a visualization with this by creating a new cell. I'll click on this one here that says create chart, and that'll open a new chart cell. And then all I gotta do is specify a few drop downs to get what I had above. So I'll first select for the X axis, the date, and then for the Y axis, we can click on total, which is the total ridership levels. And then we're gonna wanna facet this by day of week and then by the transportation method. So subways and buses. Now this is kind of a bare bones version of what I showed you before. And now we're just gonna do a little bit of styling to make it look nicer. So I'm gonna change the mark from line to area so it's a little easier to read. And I might also encode for the color, the day of week. Um, I kind of prefer to use a sequential color scheme rather than a categorical one. So I'm gonna go down here and click on cool, which is a sequential color scheme. And then we'll just bump out the margin left and then also the width, so it's a little bigger. And then there you go. We've just built our visualization showing the ridership levels by buses and subways uh, by day, day of week.